Hey, this is Monotrox, and welcome to the third video in our Blender tutorial series. This time we're going to be adding a little bit more detail to the glass, and uh, making it look more like glass in the actual render. So the first thing we need to do is change this back to the edit window. To do that, we just click this button down here, click 3D view, and we should be good to go. Uh, right click this glass that we made before uh, to select it and go back into edit mode. Once we're in edit mode, let's go ahead and change this back to solid view. And the next thing we need to do is actually change these faces up a little bit. We want to add a little bit more detail here. And we can't really do that the way that these are. Uh, the first thing we need to do is actually subdivide this into more faces. There's just not much we can do with these as they are now. So in order to do that pretty easily, we can use the loop cut tool. And to do that, just hold control, press R, and hover over this face here. If you hover in the middle or the bottom, you're going to get this uh, vertical line. We want to get the horizontal line here. So just hover over the left side. And you'll see this pink line that goes around it. That's where it's going to actually cut and make more faces. So the next thing we want to do is just scroll up until we have three of those. Go ahead and click, drag it down just a little bit, and click again. And then we have a lot more to work with here. We can actually create some detail. So to do that, we're just going to go into the face view, the face select here. And we want to select all of these individual faces. And before to do that, we were using the wireframe mode. But here, if we did that, we're going to select the interior faces as well. And we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is still use the solid view, press A to deselect everything, and go ahead and just hit C to actually use this cursor select tool. And you'll see a little box here. Uh, if you just hold left click and drag your mouse around, it'll select everything that that box goes over. So we're just going to do that, rotate around the image, select all of these bottom three rows of faces here. And now that we have those selected, we're just going to do a special kind of extrude so that we can work with all these faces individually. Hold Alt, press E, and then click Individual Faces. And that extrudes each individual face there. So we have a different shape coming off of each one. Uh, to make sure that that doesn't get extruded out any, uh, just go ahead and right click and that'll leave that in the same location as before. And we want to scale this down so that we have little points in the center here. And if we start trying to scale this now, we're not going to scale each individual face. It's just going to be the entire thing toward the center. And that's not what we want to do. So instead, we're going to change this uh, pivot point down here to individual origins. And then when we scale, we're actually scaling each individual face. So go ahead and hit S and then press 0 on your keyboard and then hit Enter. And that'll scale it down to a point down here. Uh, so that we can have some nice little pointed edges. Uh, the next thing we want to do is actually scale it out. And to do that again, we want to change this back to the bounding box center, which is what it was by default, and then just scale out from the center. And this will give us a really nice design on the outside of the glass here. And just to make sure that this doesn't look too bad, just hit S, and you can actually lock this to an individual axis and hit Z. This just brings it back in line when we scaled out. These were pointing up a little bit. These were pointing down a little bit. And we just wanted to bring those back in. So if you press S and then any axis you want, you can actually lock it to that specific axis. And now that we have this nice little detail added in here, uh, what I'm going to do is just make a few fine tune changes here. Uh, shouldn't be anything too complicated. I do want to go up here and bring this lip in just a little bit. This is a little bit of a thick glass, I guess. So in order to select this entire uh, circle here, we're going to go to this Edge Select tool, hold Alt and right click, and I actually select this entire circle. And then I can just go ahead and scale this out so it's a little bit closer to the edge of the glass, which will look a little bit better in the long run. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to add a modifier. So I'm going to go over here to this modifier tool. Add modifier, and I'm going to do a subdivision surface. This is going to help us later when we actually uh, turn this into glass. And I don't want this, whatever this is, Catmull Clark. Uh, we don't really want that. It's making all of our little pointy bits really rounded. Uh, so we're just going to go to simple. This makes it look a little bit better with glass and reflection and stuff. Uh, the next thing we want to do, go here. Uh, and this is the material selection area. And we can add a new material. And one thing that we didn't do at the very beginning that we need to do to make sure that this actually looks right, change this from the Blender Render to Cycles Render. Uh, that's what we're going to be using here. So go ahead and make a new material here. Change it from Diffuse to Glass. Um, and the color doesn't really matter. 
this we want to make uh, about 1.3. So, and when we render now, this will take a little bit, but you, we can see here already that um, it actually looks a lot more like glass. And the reason this is taking a little bit longer is because it, it just takes longer to render glass than it does everything else. So in the next video, we're just going to be making a uh, a couple ice cubes or three using some brushing techniques. Uh, just to add a little bit more detail before we add the liquid. So see you guys then.